Welcome to Meet Your Local Heroes, a series of talented speakers in Charlotte, North Carolina. You'll meet specialists in health, finance, change management, sales, and more. Let's join our host, Bill Earhart, and meet this episode's local hero. Welcome to Meet Your Local Heroes, a show about some of the most talented speakers, presenters, and coaches in the Charlotte area. Well, today we have the recovering accountant trainer, John Sanchez. John, welcome to our show today. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. In 1998, John established the FPA Group to help other financial professionals rehabilitate their communication and business storytelling skills. So, John, what is the why behind what you do? The biggest why behind what I do is helping other people basically get through the learning curve that I got through with communication skills without having to go through all of the pain and effort that I had to go through through trial and error. So I, I found a lot of mentors, not so much directly, some were, were in person, but it was mostly books, seminars, and other types of self-improvement that I used. And one of the struggles I see with a lot of accounting and finance professionals is they're not really sure where to start. So I can help them shorten the amount of time it takes them to make those improvements. Well, that's great, John. So tell me, do you work primarily with one-on-one uh, -on -one small groups, workshops? How, how do you generally work? Typically workshops. I, I do typically small groups, but it could range anywhere from a small group of what we call open enrollment, which would be anyone could sign up to a group at a specific company where I would know it's just this department and XYZ company. Well, that leads us to our next question of, of how has one of your workshops um, helped a, an organization? What helps people the quickest is in helping people understand how, how to tailor their communication to their audience. And I the thing I find fascinating about it is typically I'll get pushback until people start to just open their minds to the idea. So as an example, if we look at disc profiles and different personality types, and then I walk through how each different type communicates, gives and receives communication, I've had pushback saying, gosh, that's a lot to learn. You mean I have to adapt how I talk to all these different styles? And my response is typically, no, you don't have to. Uh, there's lots of data and experience and stories I could tell you that shows that it's more effective that way, but you don't have to do anything. And then at the end, those same people will come up to me and go, I think I get it now. In the workshop, we put it into action and they try it and they go, oh, they have that little aha moment. And that's, that's what I find really fulfilling about this. If someone is looking for a speaker for an event or a workshop, what type of organizations or businesses are you looking to serve? I think the biggest criteria that I look for is people who already value training their people. So one of the things that drives me bananas is companies that say people are our biggest asset and then they won't spend any money on them. So all of the companies that I've had long-term working relationships with put training as a pretty high priority. And so they will map out their entire year of training, at least in terms of the events that they want to have, they'll have that all planned out for the year. So I already know those companies value training. At that point, it's just a matter of, do we want John to be one of the people that we bring in for training? And then I just show him what I offer. Okay, so I'm assigned to attend one of your workshops. Uh, what's your presentation style like? It's pretty interactive. So I would say one of the, the ways I would describe it is, it's showing, not telling. So I always give an example of a comedian could tell you that they're funny and tell you about their Netflix special on, on the number of people they had in a crowd and as proof of how funny they are, or they could tell you a joke and make you laugh. So when I say showing and not telling, I try to spend maybe half or more of the time in actual interaction. So maybe I deliver a new concept. Hey, here's a concept. Now let's do an exercise and see how you can use that to improve, improve your communication. And we do it right then and there. So you can walk out knowing what works, what doesn't work, what might I need more tips on and more practice on and more help with. 
Yeah, I think that's important. Uh, takeaways from any type of training are essential. And especially if you can take it away and use it that same day. So I think that's that that's that's really good. Well, John, I appreciate the, the time that you uh, took to uh, talk with us today. Thanks for having me. Appreciate your time. If you would like to schedule John Sanchez or any of our other local heroes for your next event, contact Hey Red Speakers Agency or visit the website at heyred.biz. We appreciate you taking the time to meet some of our local heroes. Click on the subscribe button so you'll know when new interviews are added. For Meet Your Local Heroes, I'm Phil Earhart. Go out and make it a great day today.